person who performs duties for others, such as a person employed in a house on domestic duties or as a person assistant, a person employed in the service of a government, a devoted and helpful follower or supporter. We have an example. We can serve in our house. President in one country is a servant as well because the president is serving his people. King or queen is a servant, is a servant serving the people. Those who work in the government, like politician, counselor, and so on, they are the servant. What they are doing, they are serving the people. What does a servant do? Let's think about that. What does a servant do? A servant works at someone's home, often doing basic tasks. If you are a servant, you serve someone else. Today we are going to learn about how to be a good servant of God and the people. How to be a good servant of God and the people. Let's see what the Bible say, tell us about that. Let's open our Bible in the book of John 13, 5. Verse 13, chapter 13, sorry, verse 5. What it say? We have it here on the screen. You follow there, I'm going to read here. What it say there? Then, then he poured water into the basin and, and began washing the disciples' feet and whipping them with the towel which has tied around his waist. We go now to the verse 12, yes. So then he had washed their feet and put on his altar robe and reclined at the table. Again, he said to them, do you understand what I have done for you? Thirteen, you call me teacher and the Lord, and you are right in doing so, for that is who I am. So, fourteen, and so if I, the Lord, and the teacher, wash your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet as well. For I gave you this as an example so that you should do in turn as I did to you. This is Jesus talking to this, the disciple. His here is a lesson. He's teaching his disciple to wash the feet. What does it mean? If we go back to the time of Jesus in Israel, Jewish culture, who washed the feet is a servant. He's the lowest servant. The one when the guests come, he's go there, take their sandal and wash their feet. What Jesus wants to tell us, as in John 13, 15, Jesus sets an example for us to follow. After washing his disciples' feet, an act of love Humility and service. Please repeat, say after me. An act of love, humility, humility. and serve. He encourage us to follow his lead and serve one another. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you, say Jesus. 
We come here, we worship him, we glorify him, we lift him high. He's our king, our Lord. Is everything we sang here. We just want nothing else, just him. Let's move on. How can we be a good servant of God and people? How can we be a good servant of God and people? Number one. Put God and his kingdom first. Comma. Be connected with him every day through prayer. Number two. Serving God and people with love, dedication, devotion, and passion. Number three, working tireless for God's kingdom. Number four, love God, serve Him and the people around us with all our hearts, strength, love, and understanding. If we do that, we are going to obey the greatest commandment. Martin Luther King said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? What are you doing for others? If we say that we love God, but do not love and do not serve, our faith has no value. I'm going to repeat again. If we say that we love God, but don't love and do not serve people, our faith has no value. The, this year, the team of the year that our pastor gave us is live to love. This year, we will talk ab- a lot about loving, serving, for if we do not serve and are not servant, we are not loving God. Let us see what he says here in the Matthew 22, 37 to 39. What he says. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. We are talking about loving neighbor. We are talking about serving neighbor as yourself. When you see your neighbor, you feel, I can't, I have to look after my neighbor as I look myself. Who's your neighbor? Start in your house. Husband, your wife, your kids are your neighbor and surround you. Go to the community, the church, etc. Wives, your husband is your neighbor. Your kids, your vicinity, your community, your church are your neighbors. Mark 10, 43, 45. What is saying? Who, whoever wants to become great among you, be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to serve, but to serve, did not come to serve, but to serve, did not come to be served, sorry, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. 
Jesus did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as an awesome for many. What Jesus did. Jesus left his kingdom as a king, as above everything, as a creator. He came down as a man born to give an example how to be a servant. His kingdom, when you be, you put in the place as a servant, Jesus' mission is to be a servant. He didn't come to be served, but to serve. As we are his follower, what should we do? Do the same. He's a, he's a model. Here, Jesus is teaching us to do what he did. Amen? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Are you getting the message? Amen. Are you understanding? Amen. It's Jesus here. Let's move on. We have been called to be a foot watchers. Jesus called us to watch the, the foot. Serving and loving God, not a certain point, is easy. I know it's not easy because He is our Creator and Lord. Serving God is easy. I love God, I serve you, Lord, it's easy. But let's see another point. But loving and serving people is not easy. Say, I love God, I'm going to serve God, is easy. But to love and serving people is not easy. Watching each other feet is not easy. Jesus said, we need to watch each other feet. I know, in the time of Jesus washing the feet, a visit was the service of the employees and many of the slaves who lived in the house. Jesus did the humblest work that only slaves would have done. Jesus is a king, a lord. He took the place and said, okay, I'm going to go to the slave, and we become a slave, and we become a servant. I'm going to wash the, the, the feet. I'm not going to show my power because Jesus is most powerful. He's the Lord. He's a king of kings. But he humbled himself. He became a humble. Let me wash the feet. You took the sandal and washed. This is our Lord we are serving. I know it's not easy. After washing his supple feet, Jesus said, now you do the same. Jesus is telling me and you to do the same he did. How are we going to do? Is doing to the people. Let us see an example. Our pastor, they are a great example of servant. All time when we have Shalom Total, our pastor encouraged us not to eat first, but to leave the guests to eat first, isn't it? Have you seen our pastor eating first in Shalom Total? Never ever. They always, they look around, they give all the guests, say the guests go first, after all of them, at the end, when they are sure everybody has eaten, they will eat. Why that? That is showing to be a servant. That's why we must follow their example. They are our leaders, but they wait until the end to eat. Even our pastor, Senor Umberto in Brazil, when sometimes he come here to visit us, Pastor Umberto never eat at the first. He will wait as well. Sometimes there is more no chair. They will sit here, even here. They will eat here. I've seen it. Pastor Mas, Pastor Umberto, Pastor Hobby. They, they don't eat first. 
Why that? Because they know they are servants of Lord and people. We must follow their example as well. Amen. Amen. Let us read now the... Colossians 6, 9. It says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the power time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people especially to those who belong to the family of believer. I'm going to just you and me, let's repeat after me. When I read after you, repeat that, please. Especially to those who belong to the family of believer. Again, please. Who are the family of a believer? We, the church. Say, let us do good to all. But when they come to the church, say, do the specially the family of believer. That is, is our duty to serve. We have an example here. Some brothers and sisters, when we come to the service, before we have tea and coffee, some brother and sister, they are serving tea and coffee. At the door, someone is saying, welcome. Our service here, the worship team, worship, and also some, they will even come earlier to worship. Some people, they come earlier to open, to, do, to put the chair for us when we come to sit. And also, there is brothers, some brothers, they look after the son, like you see there. They are looking after. The one will see the scream. They are interpreters. And, the, the, and also, some brothers, they do some work in the church, fixing the light, fixing the tub, fixing so many things. Some of brothers and sisters as well, they, when we're having an event, they help, they cook, they help others, they assist. I've been blessed so for so many brothers and sisters. When I'm doing some event, people, they will come to support me doing some event as well. Amen? Amen. Okay, let's move on. Colossians 3, 23, what it says? Yeah. Whatever you do, what your task may be, work from the soul that is put in your very best effort. As something done for the Lord and not for the man. Everything you are doing is for the Lord, not for the man. In the house, mummies, the one they make delicious dinner. When you are cooking, think you are cooking for the Lord. From today on, you are cooking. Enjoy because you are making food for the Lord. Daddies and mommies, those they are going to work to make money. My dear, you are representing God. You are working for God. Be someone in the work happy. Enjoy your job. The one you are having now. Don't work starting complaining, what are you doing? No. God put you there to represent him. You are ambassador of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are here to represent him. What does ambassador do? Ambassador always has his government. He will follow what the government is saying. Normally the ambassador is going to represent some in another country. We here in the earth, we are a foreigner, all of us, even those they born in Ireland, because our citizenship is, for, is when? Heaven. Our citizenship is in heaven. That's why 
We are here just for short time. One day we'll go before our King of King, Lord of Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's see now. First Corinthians 10, 31. What does he say? One second, excuse me. Okay. So then, whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of our great God. Again, whatever, even you eating, you are doing, you are doing for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Luke 23, 33. And Jesus was saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast a lot, dividing his clothes and among themselves. Just I want to focus here. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. I'm going to say, and you repeat after me. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Please. I know. Let us not get worried, not get tired, and not forgive the other. Because sometimes we'll do good, we'll assist the people, we'll help people. People, they will not respond. People, they will forget. People, they will not give us a value. But God says, everything you are doing, you are doing for the Lord. Myself, I've helped so many people. In my, and some of them, even they didn't come to say thank you. Some of them, when they want help, they will come laughing with a good smile. But when they don't want help, they will ignore you. Even they, are, they do, do like, they, like they don't see you. If you greet them, they will see. It's happened to me. And sometimes people in the street, when they want you, they come. Oh, brother, hey, help me. But when they don't want you anymore, they will come. If they see you far away, they will go. <laughs> it's happened to me so many times. Sometimes I go to pastor leaders. Last time I was talking to Antonio, I said, Antonio, Antonio say, my brother, it's happened to me as well. Yeah. But we are doing for the Lord. Yeah. The same day I was talking to Antonio, we went to the meeting with Pastor. Pastor said the same. You are doing for the Lord. Forgive them, they don't know what they are doing. Yeah. That's why I know I'm doing for the Lord. Even those they don't say thank you, if they ignore me, and some of them, they do like they didn't see me. But I will continue because I know what I'm doing. I'm not doing for the man. I'm doing for the Lord. We have to get that for all of us. We are doing for the Lord. And please, don't expect all the time people, they will say thank you. Don't expect all the time people, they will come to say, they will see. some people, when they, they will get their blessing, they will forget about you. It happens to me so many times. I will say every week. I do my best helping people, but they will not even to come to say thank you. If they say thank you, finish. It's some people as well. When you go to see them, to ask for their help as well, do you help them? Now is your time. You go there, please help me. They will lie to you and they will not help you. And after you will realize they lied for you, it's happened to me. It's painful, but we are doing for the Lord. Forgive. What did Jesus say? Forgive seven times. 70 is equal 490 times a day. That's why, Suzanne, you have to forgive me. 
It's not a seven. Seven times 70 a day. My kids, forgive me. My church, everyone here, if I hurt you, forgive me. I'm not perfect. But I do my best. Amen? Okay. To be a good servant of God and people, we must start at our own house in the church, in our community, at our workplace, in our school, and so on. We go in a house. I'm going to give you my own example. In my house, I am serving my family every day. Every day, I collect all the baggage, the bin, inside of the house and take it out, the main bin, in my backyard. I do it every day by love. My family knows. And sometimes I wash the dishes and I do laundry as well. I wash, I wash clothes and I do some housework. I help my wife, I help my kids. But I am the head in the house. I am the father. But doing that doesn't take my authority because I still have to be the father. I still have to be the husband. But I, I follow the example of our king of kings. What he did, he washed. Who am I? I can't take the rubbish. Who am I? I can't clean the toilet. Who am I? I can't help my wife. Who am I? If my Lord, my, my king, he washed the feet. That is the way to wash the feet. We have to serve in our house, to serve in the church. As I said, coffee, I gave example already. I've already given an example. And we'll see. It's an example to be a good servant. Coffee and tea, welcoming, the song, worship team, prayer intercession, people come earlier. People, they give themselves. And when we say the title and offering, it's not all of money. We have to give title of offering on ourselves as well ourselves. Because Jesus Christ gave him himself. He died for, for, for me and for you. We have to give ourselves to him. I know this is not easy because it is much easier to receive than to give. Isn't it? Everybody wants to be a boss, giving him or giving her to enjoy. But giving is not you have to have love, compassion. Giving is time. At the, our community. I encourage you and I to serve our community, to always be nice, honest, kind, polite, and loving people with all our heart. And in doing that, we are going to show love, and the people will come to Him. That is, is our duty as a good servant. If we show that we serve the people, we love them with dedication, passion, we're going to be the Bible reader. People, they will read the Bible through our life. They will see, oh, why? Example, Brother Carlo is like that. Why the way he talks to his wife, the way he looks after his kid, oh, I want to be like him. How is Sister Kenya is like that? The way he look after the husband, the kids. Oh, no, I want to be. What is the secret? What is, oh, normally people, they will ask you, what is the magic word? The magic word is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 At our workplace, as a good servant, we must be the best workers. Best worker, they don't complain. Start murmuring. Pa, 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 pa. Boss, when his boss is around, boss is not relaxed. 
We have our bosses watching you, Jesus Christ. All the time I say to my friends, colleagues, etc. I say, oh, I have a special camera. My camera is coming from heaven. Even nobody's around, but I know my camera is watching me all the time. Wherever I go, Jesus Christ is watching you. Are you a disciple of Jesus Christ? Be a best worker in your place. Amen? Amen. And remember, we, we must follow all the rules and the regulation by employees, by our employee. We are not there just to make a money, but to spread the gospel and to bring salvation to the lost. In your workplace, you will see around there is so many people that don't know Jesus. You are there to spread the gospel, to preach the gospel, and not only to make money, but God is so good, God will bless you with salary. But your mission, your duty is to spread the gospel. Amen. Amen. Okay. Conclusion. What is the role of a great servant leader of God? What's the role of a great servant leader of God? I'm going to read here. A great servant leader of God help others. Put the need of others first. Helping individual develop and optimize performance. Is willing to learn from others and forsake his personal advancement and reward because of God and his kingdom. A great servant leader of God concentrates on performance planning day to day, coaching and helping people to please God and to achieve their goal and dreams. We are talking about a role of a great servant leader. Example with Jesus. Example, we have our pastor, leaders. Someone who is not thinking about himself is selfless. Selfless. He's thinking about others, about coaching others, teaching others the way to achieve their dreams. Someone to develop, not to keep it from himself or herself. This is for me now. No, nobody can touch. No, no, no. It's just let people develop, let people to move, let people to go on. Someone who loves, has no jealous, want, want to see people to move, want to see people get what they are in need. Okay, let's read it now. John 3, 15. It is said, For God so greatly loved and dearly praised the world that he, he even gave his one and only begotten Son, so what whoever believes and trusts in him as Savior shall not perish but have eternal life. The one we are talking about. Jesus gave himself. Those who believe, they will not perish. Jesus gave himself for me and for you, for all the mankind. Let's see. John 1. Now, 1 John 4, 19. We love because he loved. We love, we love because he first loved us. We love because he first loved us. He loved us first. That's why we love. We are just loving him back. What he did for us. And he continued doing for us every single day. Every single moment. He will never forsake us. He never leave us. Jesus is almost 
all the time with us. Amen? And God called us to serve others and serving doesn't have to be difficult. If we do all with love, serving others will be a joyful experience. I have my own experience. Those who know my, my work I do, I am a family support worker and an interpreter. I work one family resource center. I work there as a volunteer. I volunteer. I do volunteer work. So many people through me have been blessed in the church, in the community. In St. Patrick, I have now clinic. From next week, I will start assisting people there from every Wednesday, 2 to 6. My neighbors around in the town, people here in County Mona, and other counties, even in other countries, they are coming through me, through my, with myself and my team. We work, we have been helping so many people. And in my team, you are included as well. You know why? Because you have been covering me in prayer. Sometimes we have a prayer and it's there, praying for the leaders. I am one of the leaders. And when you are praying for me and for the church, God is giving me wisdom, how to deal, how to handle with some issue, how to help the others. And I feel so grateful. It's a joy. When someone comes to me, was granted a document, was granted house, was granted some, and I feel happy because it's love. We have learned for our, for the, our master Jesus is the model to follow. If Jesus Christ is a servant who teach, taught and continue teaching us to do the same he has done. From today on, my brothers and sisters, I encourage you to do the same as Jesus did. Be a servant. Don't wait to people to serve you. You serve. I know it's not easy. Remember, I'm going to tell you, some people, they will tell, they don't even, they will, when they get their blessing, they will forget. But you are doing for the Lord. You know, doing for them. And one day in a proper time, God will reward you. Amen. Amen. Reminder. What did, you, what did we learn today? Just to think about. What did we learn today? Who remembers? What did we learn today? Church. To be a servant. Thank you. Who is the great servant of God in all the universe and why we must follow his example? Who? Thank you. What should we do to be a good servant of God? Thank you. In which place should we start serving God and the people first and why? Thank you. What must we do to please God every day in our lives? See God first. Good. Which else? Thank you. To love one another. Thank you. And now go to the challenges and recommendations. Challenges and recommendations. Okay. And number one, we must discipline ourselves every day by getting up earlier to have a special time with God. 
Na, yes, it's there. Number two, we must set a time and agenda for all our church activities. The meeting of our cell, if, we, if you do not participate, for those that are not participating, you are disconnected from the most important meeting of this church. Cell meeting or house meeting is the, one of the most important meeting of this church. How are we going to become a strong church? Meeting in a house, like, like as a primitive church. They starting meeting together, eating together, being praying together. There they start growing and growing. Please, if you are not connected, I will encourage you to connect one of the cell meeting. Bible study and prayer on Saturday. We have Bible study and prayer Saturday. Biblical school, conquer school. If you do not do it, you need to do it because there you, there you will learn the biblical principle and grow in the knowledge of the scripture because they are teaching there. You will receive it more from the Lord. Number three, we must study the Bible every day at least twice. In getting up, when we get up and before we go to bed, you start with God in the morning and you finish with him when you go. And God is still because he never sleeps. Because when you are sleeping, God is watching, he's looking after you. Number four. We must set our goal and write them down. Set your goal, write them down. Number five, we must be great servants like Jesus, following his example. Number six, we must attend all services in the church and take notes on Sunday service. You come to Sunday service, you take notes. Some people are taking notes well down. This is important because our mind Sometimes we forget. When you take a note, do you know when are you taking note? It's a, your second ser, uh, uh, brain. When you t have something written, it's your second brain. Because your first brain, you can't forget. But if you have written, you, you will read, or you, it will remember you. That's why it's important to come to the self to take a note. It's going to help you to remind what you have learned. Because sometimes, even after service, you go there, they ask you, what did you learn today? Mm, mm. You start going around. But if you, you say, okay, wait a little bit. Ah, serving the Lord and people. Okay, you will say something. Because you have written. I encourage you to do that, please. Number six. Okay, we just say about number six. We must attend all this service in the chat and take notes on Sunday service. That's fine. Now let's read now Hebrews six ten. What it says: For God is not unjust; He will not forget how hard you have worked for Him and how you have shown your love to Him by caring to for others, believer, as you still do. This is encouragement to say, continue doing what you are doing. Continue serving people. Continue loving people. Continue doing because you are doing for the Lord. I know, remember, people, they will disappoint you. People, they will forget about what you have done. People, they will lie to you. But you are working for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. And remember that everything we do for God, He will not forget your work, and you will be rewarded for every investment in the kingdom of God. It's the same when you go to see, you put your uh, credit card, put in the machine, when the balance comes, you see a good, 
Your face is smiling. It's good. You say, when the balance increases, you put the, oh, good. It's the same. What we are doing here for the people in the heaven, our balance is increasing. Because I know when you go there, like in the, the day of payment, even you are with a pain, you go there, when you see the balance, the pain is gone. It's a pain killer. Isn't it? You feel, okay, next week I'm ready to go again. <laughs> I know because it happened to me as well. You go there, yo, I'm tired, I've done so many. But when you go to the cash money, now we have in our phone. You check this one, eh? you go to apps, you see the balance, oh, they paid me. And you feel, I, when they ask you, are you in pain? No, I'm okay, I can't go to the town. You go to the car, you go because, okay, next week I'll go again. This is a pain killer. Eh? Going to kill all the pain because of the balance. It's the same. Imagine now you will get the balance in heaven. What are you doing here? It's not in vain. You are working for the Lord. Just change your mind. Think, oh, what I'm doing is I'm working for the Lord. Oh, I will do better. I will do better and better and better and better because you are doing for the Lord. And your balance is there. When one day we'll go there, we meet Jesus. He says, Hosanna, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Every day, 24-7, enjoying, no more suffering, no more pain, no more diseases, no more nothing. We are just enjoying, enjoying, enjoy eternal life. Amen. Amen. That's it. Let's think about our heaven balance. Okay, we're going to close now. Let me say a prayer and close. God, I thank you. I glorify your name. Thank you so much for this wonderful time you gave us to learn from you how to be a good servant of you and people. Father, we have learned from you as a model as a servant to hood, you wash the feet. You teach us how to be a foot washer, to wash the food, to be a servant. Giving is more, is much better than receiving. We have learned from you. You are all powerful. You are almighty God, omnipresent, omnipotent. But you came down, you humbled yourself, you left your kingdom to come down as a servant. To die, to die for me and for my brothers and sisters, for all mankind, for all the humanity. Lord, we praise you, we glorify your name. Today on, all the world, all the seed we are planted. Father, help my brothers and sisters to understand it's better giving than receiving. Father, we come before you, forgive us, and forgive those they do wrong for us. And Father, make us to understand, give us courage. We know in the proper time we'll receive our reward. But we are here as a servant to serve you, to glorify you, your name. You are King of kings, Lord of lords, Waymaker. You are everything. Having you, we have all. You are God, you are owner of all the diamond, the everything. Jesus, 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 our Lord. We worship you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All the glory honors belong to him. Amen. We are servants. Please keep serving, doing. Remember your heaven balance is increasing. Okay. May the Lord bless and keep you. Jesus loves you so much, and so do I. Have a blessed week, you all. See you next Sunday. Thank you very much.